Hi everyone, Trisha here, thanks for joining me today. So today I'm coming on to do a autumnal theme card for autumn for um, one of my ladies, um, Cherry Flower Creations. She has a um, cherry, cherry Crafting Club Facebook group and she organises monthly swaps in there. Um, and she is also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So please feel free to go over there and have a little nosy at her page, Cherry Flower Creations. Um, and if you like what you see, you can even visit her little online shop. So, this is a previous card I've made using the gorgeous Gather Together um, bundle. Now, I am I'm going to do... Not a card like this, but a card using this suite. So, what I'm going to do just now, if I can keep this space kind of tidy, I'm trying to keep everything out of shot here. Well, things that you don't need to see. Right, so I'm going to use Mossy Meadow for my um, card base. So, I'm going to do five and seven eighths. Um, where did I put my mossy meadow? Hmm, what am I like? Five and seven eighths by eight and two eighths, then I'm going to score at 4.1. Four and one eighth, rather. Okay, so that's my mossy meadow base, okay, and I want to cut. Um, a stamping layer and a card insert. So I have some scrap here. So what is this measure? Right, let me cut this down to four inches first. Oops. So four inches by five and three quarters is the size. Okay, so that will do the front. And this will do the inside. And this card is for the lovely Nikki, who's in um, my um, creative, um, not creative crafting, Crafty Stamping Club group also. Um, but at the moment I am only doing weekly card sketches, um, so please do feel free to pop on over um, and um, join in. However, if you do like a card swap, though, there is a, a rack list in there where you could add your address. It will be remain in that group. Um, and um, we can send each other random act of kindness cards. Right, so, colours I'm going for today are Crushed Curry, Soft Suede and um, Mossy Meadow. So I'm just going to stamp some of these gorgeous maple leaves. As well as this lovely little um, autumn sprinkle type image, <laughs> that's what you call it. Well used to say, the ladies um, oops, had a shot of this at um, craft class last month and they loved it. It's great seeing all the different projects. Now, does that fit on my D-block? Yes, it does. Okay, now I want a scrap piece. Of paper because that is brand new uh, stamping up grid paper that I've put down right now what I'm going to go for is I am going to stamp in crushed curry okay I'm just going to randomly create a background here now I am making this up as I go oh hang on there's a little dirty bit in my stamp Obviously, I haven't cleaned that properly. Right, try again. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm just making it up as I go, like I normally do. Wow, do you like that? And then I'm going to fill in the gaps with some um, soft suede or mossy meadow. Colour of ink. So I'm just stamping 
around the outside of my card so that it looks like DSP. Lovely jiffly. I don't know you're thinking, oh my god, look at all the ink that you're wasting. But it's fine. These ink pads do go a long way. Right, so that's not bad for the background. Let's add some, I think we'll go with soft suede. Now, by the time this airs, um, Nikki will have received her card. Hopefully, if the um, postman behaves himself and delivers it when they are meant to. Do you like that? I'm trying not to overlap the actual um, leaf images. That's very pretty. Now, let's see what else I can do. Right, I'm just going to put my stamps back. In the correct location. Oh, before I put this one away actually, I do want to stamp this on the inner part of the card. So if I put my card front away the now. And what I like to do with my, um, oh sorry you can hear my puppy, she's going to sleep. What I like to do is stamp in um, opposite corners. I just think it makes it look nice. And then I'll do a sentiment in the middle. Right, so, clean that up. Really should get my stamping scrub out, but my desk's um, a bit crammed at the minute. Okay, so, I'm just going to stick these in just now. Move the inks out the way. You know what I'm like? And at the minute, I have got an absolutely cracking sore head. Right behind my eyes, I have two pairs of glasses, and um, the one pair is loose on me, and the other one is tight. The ones that are tight are the ones I normally wear, and um, I've lost them. Um, so I was looking for my other ones, and um, I've lost them too. Now I do have um, both cases for the glasses, but just no glasses. So I think it's about time I ordered some new ones out of Glasses Direct. Because they're nice and cheap. Nice and cheap. I've been down the road of having Ted Baker ones and by the time you get them renewed each year or whatever, you're adding hundreds onto the hundreds you've already paid. So I don't even know where the glasses are neither. Oh, I'm bad. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a banner section in Mossy Meadow. Now this needs to be five and three quarters width. Across the way, I mean. And I want it to be two inches. Okay, so I'm just chopping that up. So five and three quarters. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little border here. And you know what? I think I may actually Yeah, let's make it a standard card rather than a tank card. I'm gonna make that thinner and I'm gonna cut it down to four. So it's the same size across the way. And I think I'll trim it down to one and a half. Brilliant. Now if I get a piece of scrap of cut of um, very vanilla. Oh look. Fancy that. See how it's good if you stick to your same card sizes because um, often your scraps are the exact right measurement. Right now. I'm tripping over my dog here, she's right at my feet and I can't even sit down in my chair, I'm standing up. 
been on my feet all day and I just want a seat, but I don't want to um, disturb her little mite that she is. Now, I am thinking about using my triple banner punch. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it nice and plain. Right. So, um, what do I want to do here? I want to stamp, that's for sure. But what am I going to stamp? Right. Let's do some sentiments. Season of thanks. Yep, I think I'll have that. Thank you very much. Season of thanks. And... Um, I'm going to stamp it in the soft suede. And what I plan to do is put a flourish here of some sort. So, season of thanks. I'm stamping it at the top left. Because I want to add another sentiment under it. That reads... So glad to have you in my life. Now I'm going to place that down. It's because it's so thin. I want to make sure that I'm picking it up properly. Oh dear me! Right. So, oh sorry. What? Don't know what's going on with this wobbly thing. It's my big hair. Right. So line that up and stamp it. Isn't the font just adorable? I do like that. I do like it, I do like it. Right, so, pop that away. I may need to do some, some die cutting. So I think I need to get some soft suede paper. I found it. Okay, all I need is some little scrap pieces. Because I am going to cut out some of the gorgeous, gorgeous um, embossing dies. So this is a gathered leaves dies. Love these. And you will see that it not only die cuts but it embosses at the same time. And these are gorgeous. I'm not putting any pumpkins on here because um, because I don't want to. So I'm just going to quickly run this through off screen. But I will show you them as they pop out. So just bear with me a wee second. Always use your scraps first. For sure. Right, so I think I'm going to manage to get three of these off of this bit of scrap. So that's fine. So I'm just going to run that through off screen. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. And you will see that these, um, oh, this one's stuck. <clears throat> these have cut. Let's see if you can see with the light. Cut beautifully. Do love them. Love it. So I'm not going to go overkill with the flourishes, but I am going to utilise this little punched out circle. No point in cutting up a fresh piece of paper or cardstock. I also have this um, that I may put inside. I think I will put this inside actually. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to add some ink to it by gently dabbing it in my ink pad, my soft suede. And that'll give some contrast when it's inside. So I'll leave that there. You could blend it as well if you like. Right, so let's, um, let's get this stuck down. I do love this set, I absolutely love it. And it's just a shame that here in the UK we don't actually celebrate fall, eh, Thanksgiving, sorry, as much as we do um, in America and whatnot because it's 
seems like a really, really lovely time of year. And these stamp sets are amazing. But I still give my cards away. So I kind of celebrate it in my own way. I really do like autumn though. Absolutely love autumn. Right, I'm just adding some of the soft suede ink around my sentiment area. Now, if you don't want to add another sentiment, you could just add a little leaf like that. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I've just talked myself into it. Um, gorgeous, yeah. Let's do that. Now... What I'll do is I'll stick it down. Oopsie. Oops, like so. A bit too much glue there. And then I shall maybe pop this on. No, I'm not going to pop it on uh, an embellishment. Uh, oh, God's sake, I'm in my bed. I'm not popping it on a dimension. I'm just going to keep it there flush on the card. Oh, I love that. I do like that. Phew, thought I'd put my card the wrong way there. Isn't that adorable? Now, me being me, I do not know where I've put my Wink of Stella while I was tidying up the craft supplies. And um, it's in a box somewhere in a box, which is not good. Right, okay, anyway, enough yapping. What do I want to put in the inside of the card? Season of thanks, so glad to have you in my life. What about, may the season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. Yeah, and look, it's just jump out at me. I'm just going to give it a little clean because it's a little bit sturdy. Right. So, God, I do apologise. I really am going to have to... Um, sort out my camera situation. Now, what I was going to do, I was going to actually stamp on this, wasn't I? I'm not sure if that fits with this card anymore. Um, let's see if Gather Together would fit on it. Yes, it would. Let's stamp it. What the hell? Let's go for it. Right, so I'm just going to stamp in Mossy Meadow. So, excuse me if I hit the... the camera arm. Oh, wow. I do like that. Let's see if I can... No, I'm not going to go overboard with the inside. I'm going to pop that in there gently. Love it. Now what I'm also going to do, I clean my stamp, I am quickly going to add a little bit of the soft suede over the top of my leaves to give it an aged kind of look. Love it. So, I think I'm going to go on to make some more cards um, while I have this set out. Um, I will make it in another tutorial and maybe do a different kind of angle to things. But there is my card for the Cherry Crafting Club swap. I hope you like it, Nikki. And um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.